Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're in for a, a good match here. Battle of the Young Guns. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a quick one with a shot clock as quick well. Quick fire. Run. Don't blink. <laughs> I mean, both these players are pretty quick out of the blocks. You see Mies got breaking off. Making two balls off the break. I think he's a little bit snookered on the two ball there, Imran. He is. He can opt for a, a jump shot here. It's a pretty easy jump. Or he can kick it one rail. I think the kick is a good one. Got to be careful, though. I think if you get a bit too much on it, the cue ball is going to be out of position. Let's see where the three is near the nine. He's got the plant, though. Look, he's looking at that. Is that something you'd look for at this stage, Imran? Um... The position... Oh, he's missed. Wow. Yeah, bad miss. He kind of uh, rushed it a little bit. Yeah, he was. Uh, we're getting uh, Flo down there saying hello to Imran and David. Hello, Florian. Hope you're all doing well there. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves these last few days. Still got some... Great action coming up, another semi and the final. And of course, we've got the Women's Euro Tour kicking off today. You've been watching any of the ladies while Jason tries this plant, which he makes easily. 1 0 to Jason. Yeah, have you been watching the ladies? Notice Jason's uh, breaking with his uh, hand on the table. Jason making also two balls off the break. Pretty good break. Um, pretty open table apart from the six and the seven are kind of congested down at the bottom here. See, they're already being challenged. There's Macan summed up and all saying hello, hello to everybody. And Harry Bow Killer is uh, trying to get a bet on for coffee. Or oh, has it come up far enough? I don't think he's got enough legs on that. I think he's snookered. He is, yeah. It looks like it anyway. Fortunski had a had a good match last last round, beating Niels. Uh nine eight the score was. It was six nil up, wasn't it? Apparently he? jumped into a six nil lead and then uh Niels grinded his way back to eight eight and then uh they messed up in the end. I think he Good missed a couple there. of uh, uncharacteristic shots. Niels, yeah? Niels did, yeah, yeah. Uh, good result for Mia Scott. Uh, someone asking about the Baunatal. There's no Baunatal Euro Tour this year, Lloyd. Nice safety there by Fortunski. I think this is new territory for Fortunski. Don't think he's been this far in the Euro Tour before. Mm, we'll soon be corrected if uh, not, because we have one, a yeah. lot of people on the chat who know their business. I don't recall Miesko Fortunski in the semis. Actually, Jason has been in the semis twice. Been in the final once. Okay. And uh, Jason has lost both times in those occasions to Ralph Suke, who uh -huh. could. If Jason makes the final today and Ralph makes it, what an explosion. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, it was actually here in Italy, I think about five years ago, Jason lost in the final to Ralph. I think that was in J oh, Jason's early days back then. When he was just getting into the nine ball pool scene, coming from the English pool of reds and yellows. English pool and uh, a bit of snooker he's dabbled with. Uh, okay. There we go. Uh, Miesko has been in the semi-final before. Oh, he has. So he's okay. come third. Okay. Just being told by Macken. Jason now uh, resides in uh, America. He's been there uh, a little he's while now. He's been there, he? yeah, maybe yeah. three years or so. Yeah. Recently got married and had a kid. So, uh, all right. Yeah, I see the wife and kid here. Yeah. Lovely little girl. <laughs> Lovely little girl, yeah. Looks yeah. exactly like Jason. <laughs> yeah. The big ears. But there's a question for you, Imran. Do you think Jason should be playing the Moscone Cup? 
I think he should be, yeah. Yeah, definitely be uh, <coughs> a big force in the US team. In the US team? Um, hmm. You mean play for America? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he <laughs> resides there. I think he should play for America. Ah, but you need the passport. Yeah, th this is the problem. That is that is that is the problem. You need the passport. So I guess he's over here playing the Euro Tours, uh, trying to get into the Moscone Cup, obviously, to get the ranking points. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this is his quest. Yeah, put the points on the board. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of you are chasing those places. Not only the Moscow Winning Cup, the World Cup of Paul, you have the World Championships, everything, the all Masters, those rankings yep, go through yep. this uh, thing here. So, Yeah, we all play the Euro Tours to try and get into the, the bigger major events. He came over here with uh, Mika Imminen as well, this, this yeah. tournament. Yeah, Mika and Jason come over from America. Mika not having the best of tournaments. Lost out on Friday to uh, Abdullah Al Yosef. Yeah, yeah, good Over player from table Kuwait. 12. Yeah, you see the crowd watching that one. Yeah, when, yeah, uh, exciting finish that yeah. was. Yeah, Al Yosef was eight seven behind. And played a great shot to level it up hill mm -hmm. hill. And sent Mika packing nine eight. Here, Miesko. Yay! Okay, so, so it should make it. Um, one all here. Pretty easy it's table. Just needs an angle on the seven to get on to the nine. And just roll this down, Imran. Yeah, he'll probably play two 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 rails position. There we go. Nicely on the nine. Is there? I mean, for the amateur players out there. That shot there. Most of the amateur players would just play the one rail up and down. Why would you go two? What's what's the reason? I never knew what the diamonds were there for. They're actually there for for um, creating systems for your position. Um, the diamond system, and uh, you also use it for position. So those who are not sure what we're talking about, the diamond the, on this table, they are dots, so the little white dots on the rail there. Some of the tables, I think, uh, a few of the other makes have diamonds or different shapes. And they are set at 30, uh, let me get this right off my head, 37.5 centimeters apart. Right, I didn't know that, Dave. So there you go. It is the complete measurement. They are equal measurements from the center of the corner pocket. So there's another diamond, if you like. Mm -hmm. Okay. And 37.5 centimeters between each one, from middle of the diamond or spot the other one. Oh, thanks for the education, Dave. There you go. <laughs> so he's op opted to uh, snooker Jason in a push-out, where he has in mind to play this uh, as a one-rail kick and try and get the two balls safe. Oh, he's achieved Which that. Which he has done, luckily. Yeah, fortunately. Jason will go straight for his jump cue. There you go. I know Jason's game very well. When he first started uh, playing nine ball, he used to play on the GB nine ball tour. And uh, had a few scraps with Jason, a few matches. Mm -hmm. When he first started, he was uh, <coughs> just a maniac potter. It doesn't matter where the cue ball is, he would just pot the ball. You know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But now he's uh, matured and seasoned his game. Obviously, being over in the States and playing other disciplines as well has helped him like uh, one pocket and uh, bank pool and straight pool, all very good disciplines to help your nine ball game. Oh yeah. Yeah, straight pool they do say is the best game to practice because it covers all disciplines. Exactly, well it's, uh, they call it the daddy of pool. Yeah, I must admit it is my favorite of a game if uh, I'm gonna play it, so. Good part on the two ball there, just uh, slightly came out of position. Needs to maybe bank the four or up for a snooker. Oh, he could cut it right in the side. Oh, makes two off of that, but the cue ball didn't really fall kindly. 
good thing about this shot is he just has to pop the ball in the, the six will go in the same pocket. Just like that. And now come two rails behind the eight. Or just draw it like that. It's uh, it's always a bit of a curse, you know, when you, you try and imagine what shot they're going to play. And you plan it for them and then they play something yeah. completely <laughs> opposite. So it won't be your first. Yes, yeah, so a very fluent. Now our press officer, Thomas. He's in the other room, busy, I hope. Some more work. Oh, and Jason scratches. Straight into the side. If you look, there was uh, quite a poor break there because no balls offered a break except the cue ball dropping in the middle. Jason recently won uh, a tournament in America, the 10 foot um, challenge at the Derby City, where they played 10 ball on a, on a 10 foot full table. And he beat Shane Van Boning in the final. So that was a very good, very good win. On the 10 foot tables, yeah? On a 10 foot table. Obviously, Jason has a bit of a snooker background, so uh, it's not sure. such a big table for the English. <laughs> yeah. Do you think the English have an advantage somewhere along oh, the line? Oh, with, definitely. With, with our fundamentals, um, a bigger table wouldn't really pose any problems, you know, because obviously we're, we're used to playing on 12-foot tables, the snooker table, so 10-foot is actually quite small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Macken is uh, just checking that we got the message here. Yeah, we have seen your message there, Macken. We will have a word with Kasha later. But she's got to make the finals first. Get on the TV table and we'll get her to give you a little message of some sort. How's that? Good start by Funsunski. Looks very relaxed and free-flowing. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting a message there from Vince about table seven. I understand that there's a problem on table seven with the streaming. I'll uh Needs a good break now to really put the pressure on Jason. Oh, nearly, <laughs> nearly did the same thing. Lost the cue ball a bit there. Maybe there's a, there's a gap to get to the potting angle of the two ball. Fortunski, one of the, the many Polish players that come to uh, the Euro Tour. There's quite a few of them. I think eight or nine come to every event all very good players and some good young talent in the in their group as well Went for that two ball, I'm not sure if it was the right decision. And missed it by some way, but got pretty lucky there. Snookering Jason. Jason going for the jump cue again. Oh, what a great shot. Lovely jump shot. He's a kangaroo, he jumps everything. There you go, back again. Who's the kangaroo, Imran? What did Jason. I miss? Fortunski missed a, a long two ball, snookered Jason. Jason got his jump cue out and just uh, stroked it in. Wow. <laughs> just round. Hopefully, table number seven is back up and working. 
have a look. Good jump Good. shot, deserves the rack here. Gonna have to go back. Yep, I'm gonna go back to seven again. Be back in a moment, Imran. Okay. Nice rack by Jason. Draw the cue ball straight back into the side pocket. was scared of scratching in the side there that's why he cut the balls too much there and uh, came up with a dry break fortunately he snookered uh, Fortunski So the score is 3-2 to Fortunski at the moment. Jason attempting a safety there, not sure if he's got it. Maybe leaves uh, the potting angle for the one. It's quite tight, I'm not sure. Yeah, he's going for it. Digging down to screw back the white. I think you can just see past it. Oh, oh look at that. That's, that was a problem. Got hooked behind the six on the two. So number seven should be back up and running. Is he a kangaroo as well? Will he go for the jump here? Looking to kick the two balls safe here. Oh, where's the cue ball? And it's dropped. Well, you sounded like uh, John Virgo there. Where's the cube? <laughs> <laughs> Got to find it. This gives Jason a good opportunity to level the match up at 3-3. Got a lot of work yet, but they are all open. Yeah, I'll probably play the four ball in the side. <coughs> office position for the five and the rest of the table is pretty open yeah just getting a question about the Atlantic Challenge Cup and Kazoom this year because it's in America AZ Billiards are going to be showing the live stream from the Atlantic Challenge Cup it's going to be in Chicago this year I'm looking forward to that is that from use, is it? Yep, that's the under-19s right. Moscone Cup, if you like. It's okay. the Atlantic Challenge. Okay. Had the first one last year in Austria, mm -hmm. in uh, Rankweil, a place that you know very well. Okay, yeah. yeah. And Europe won that match, 11-9. Wow. So, real good and exciting games it was. Really enjoyed it. And how do you pick the teams, teams for the youths? Is it through the ranking system? It's through the European Championships uh, at the youth, so if they win the gold medal in nine ball and things like that, you have the World Championships right. for the youth and also mm -hmm. the best ranked youth player on the Euro Tour. Okay. So you have that. The billiards, they were talking about it last year, but I'm still waiting confirmation on that. So I'll keep you informed of any news that we get regarding that. And if you fancy a holiday, and Chicago's a lovely place in July, 
very good break there by Fortunski. Um, hit them at a nice pace and controlled the cue ball as well. Offers a good shot on the two ball. Slightly under hit that ball. He wanted to be straight on it to get a easy position on the six. Now has to do a little bit of work with the cue ball. Oh, got a little bit heavy on that, but it's dropped. Look at the cue ball. Yeah, it sounded like a kick to me, Dave. It did. It sounded like a little kick at the end. You just hear the jump, you know, the cue yeah, ball. A little yeah. crack in there. Mm. Just a uh, question about Albania and the European Championships for the youth came up there. Asking about the venue in Albania. It's an expo center in the Tirana, in the capital of Albania. We're going to have the Youth European Championships in the middle. We will then have the Euro Tour and we'll finish off with the Seniors European Championships all in Albania. Is that a location you've been to before, Imran? Never been there, no, no. And I was quite interested in uh, what it would be like. I mean, uh, some people have told me that it's a very nice uh, area. It is actually, yeah. I was quite surprised. I'd never been to Albania. Uh, and Albania's right. in August, yeah. Okay. Well, Harry Bolkill is asking where the hotel will be used by the staff. That's going to be in Croatia, Harry Bol. But we're playing in Albania, don't worry. Good break by Jason, but I uh, think get a shot on the two ball to pot it. So plays a safety, trying to get behind the five ball and oh, does what so. what a shot. <laughs> Good little safety there. Not an easy ball to hit because uh, if it goes to the right and tries to play it one rail, the eight ball's in the way. So might have to go one, two, two Ooh. rails. Yeah, got to come side rails, haven't you? Got to get yeah. up quite close to the seven, about the middle diamond from that angle. Yeah. Oh, not enough. You see, it was just short of the middle diamond. And that's what they're there for, Jason. Chance again to peg this back. Neither of these players really stamping their authority on this match. Giving each other a little piece of the cake. When uh, with the 2016 season in Rana, of course, this is the first tour stop. Have you set yourself any goals to start with? What's your uh, aim for the year? Well, obviously, everybody's uh, playing for Moscone Cup points, so uh, you know that's um, what we're all here for, really. Right. And World Championships, of course. World Championships and, that's the other and uh, yeah, a couple of other tournaments like the World Cup of Pool. Yeah, because you've got all the rankings, and that's used for all these nominations, isn't it? So exactly, it's important yeah. that you get up as high as you can on the rankings. And Jason Shaw is in London, uh, a pool room called the Hurricane Room. Have quite a few students do uh, seven, eight hours a week. Mm -hmm. That's uh, the Hurricane Room is quite a popular room with uh, some of the. Uh, Top players in London, is it? Tony Drago. That's there. right, yeah. Tony uh, Rico Dix. Tony plays there, Rico Dix, yeah. Raj Hundel sometimes. Um, and a good uh, couple of amateurs play there. Mm -hmm. And the good thing is it's a 24 hour club, so you know there's, there's action all the time. You can walk in four in the morning and get a game. <laughs> really? Yeah. So there's people playing at four in the morning. I oh, suppose yeah, you've got yeah. shifts, haven't you? Work shifts. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people finish their work at three in the morning. Exactly, yeah. And uh, for them, it's like an evening coming up, you mm -hmm. know, as if you work in day. So yeah, yeah. I suppose, why not? You know? I don't know many pool rooms that are open 24 hours. 24 hours, and they, they serve alcohol till five in the morning. So 
All right. People come there after the, the pubs and the bars shut. Gotcha. They go and get uh, a little, little bit extra refreshment before yeah. going home, I suppose. It's always pretty, pretty buzzing. Okay, so if he makes this five ball, should set him up nicely for the rack. Needs an angle on the six. A little bit straight on the six. Mm. Going to risk as he can bump into that eight. Oh, he's going to play through. I think he's going to top it through. Oh, oh stunned it. Nice stroke. Because yeah, a draw there would have been collision course with the eight. Ringo's asking about the pubs. It's the Hurricane Room at King's Cross in London. That's what we were talking about. Pool room that's open 24 hours a day. A bit like us, really, on the Euro Tour. <laughs> Almost 24 hours a day. Jason, this nine for the lead. Five, four is over. Big ears, we call him. Or the FA Cup sometimes, <laughs> with his ears sticking out like that. <laughs> Lost the cue ball a little bit there. I'm not sure if he's got a pocket for this two ball. asking about the British team for the European Championships but there's no British team at the European Championships. Is that something that uh, you're trying to work on back home Imran with uh, the federations and things to get teams going to the European Championships? Yeah well actually we're, um, uh, we're applying for government funding uh, because there's some uh, very rich organisations in, in England that, that do fund sports so we're uh, in the process of uh, sending an application and hopefully get uh, some funding from them. Okay, so the future. Oh, that was a bad miss there. Uncharacteristic there? miss there by Jason. It was uh, a big miss. It wasn't just the knuckle. It like no, missed it by table. quite some way there. And we have the Austrian duo, Mario He and Max Reichner. Maximilian Lechner. Oh, and he misses it straight back. Yes, Bit of nerves turn. creeping in by both players. I think it's not the best position here either. Cue ball almost close to the rail. Nick Malai behind. I think they're a little bit exhausted. But yeah, four ball in the middle of the table up behind the seven. It's going to be awkward to get a good position, even if he makes the three here. Opted to play the bank Again. and left the three ball on. The only problem is in this rack, the eight and nine are clustered together. Has to sort them out somehow. You can get, of course, the other balls are up the top of the table, but you could get down on this bottom rail and it'll be all open to the corner. But you have to get perfect position, really, on that. You don't want to be too short. Oh, look again. That was a miscue there. Yeah, miscue. That was a miscue, as you heard that. Too fast. Didn't chalk his cue. I've always said, chalk is free. Use it. Uh-huh. So it's you that makes the mess on the tables then, <laughs> huh? You keep using all the chalk. Okay, so the, the eight does go into the corner pocket. So you can just play this one rail land on the long rail like this wanted to be a little bit further now has to bump the nine yeah 
just does so nicely. Past yep. the, yeah. Well, when it looked like Jason was giving this rack away, Mia Scott gave it back. But a miscue now, Jason. Total, total nine ball. Nine ball yeah. yeah, yeah. They're very good tours, very well organised, you know. Um, we have to try and get them on board with the Federation because it's progress for the tours exactly, as well as yeah. the Federation. That's what we're in the process of doing. We're in talks with them. Okay, that's cool. So yep. maybe something can happen there in the UK. It is a sleeping giant. It, it really is. is. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, back to this now. And Mia Scott with a good break, a nice spread. Yeah, he has been breaking better than Jason, I think. You know, controlling his cue ball well and getting a, a shot has just made some uh, a couple of mistakes. That miscue was massive in the last rack. Yeah. yeah. And Jason. I mean, it would have been level on points now. He's a got a lovely hand. break here. Yeah. He could be in the lead soon, yeah. but he's chasing yeah. Jason now with mm -hmm. two racks. Ball was saying on the chat there that it was nice to have the British team when they were over in Cyprus, was it? You were there, weren't you? Or where did you come? For what? For the European Championships. Have you ever played the European Championships? Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. played like three or four times. Yeah. yeah, you were in Brandenburg once, weren't you? Yeah, I can't remember exactly where I was, yeah. but I've played three or four times. I've, I've got three medals as well, yeah. been on the podium three times. Colour of medals, bronze? Bronze, unfortunately, yeah. yeah. No no golds or so silver. You've got to come yeah. back for the golds, yeah. Imran. Yeah, exactly. You know? I'm knocking on the door, so you hopefully go. next time will be a different colour. And yeah, Scott, making easy work of this rack. It was a nice split, and a 7 and 9 to reduce the deficit. And this drops. He'll be trailing by one rack. From Jason Shaw. There you go. So about the Sundapan is asking about the black ball. Is black ball considered a competitor to Paul in the UK? Or does it create more interest in Paul in general, do you think? Black ball? You mean English pool? Black ball. All you have uh, the black ball is the English pool that's recognised by the WPA. But right, you have right. English pool, which is not. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you have a different okay. federation. So okay. English pool is not, I mean, the rules are almost as similar, you know, yeah, the game yeah, is the same, yeah, you know, the yeah. small tables, reds and yellows, Yeah, I think yeah. they just have a slight, slight um, variations yeah. to the rules, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, black ball is the one that's recognised through the structure, and English right, ball are right. sitting on their own on the shelf. Yeah, yeah, I do play a bit of that uh, black pool, pool. Um, a lot of people say it's the, the best set of rules. For that type of game, for yeah. For that type of game, yeah. yeah. Because there are so many of those rules, that's yeah, what amazes me. Yeah, I think that's, that's what's kind of messed up uh, English pool. There's so many variations to the rules, and you know, yeah. hasn't really taken off because of that. Yeah, I think you can go from one county to another, and you have a different set of rules yeah, again. Yeah, exactly. It's strange. Whoops! Didn't want to hit the nine there, but still has landed okay. Should make this in the top pocket. And Bowler Eights is just asking: Is the black ball, black ball, not black pool, but black ball, is on the six foot tables? It is. Oh, oh wow. missed that by some way. That was a lot. And what is happening here? Oh, and he's left left the sit sitter for uh, Fortunski. Ah, this could this. be excitement in the crucible at six six. Yeah. And strange, both players making silly mistakes. And this nine ball will tie the match up at 6 6. And it's a race to three for a place in the final of the dynamic. Put your, your clothes uh -huh. in. You ever seen one of those rooms, Dave, here? I'm not so lucky. No? No. no lovely. 
I'm going to have thing. a word with the management, though, of the hotel and uh, try and work this out. The players <laughs> getting suites and, you know, we end up in just a beautiful room. I but, think uh, it was just a bit fortunate because there was a, a lot of entries at this Euro Tour and they were overbooked. Yeah. But I'm going to request for that room every time I come now. <laughs> well, Imran, I'm taking it first next time. <laughs> now I know there's such a room. That's it. I'm going for it. What number? Three what? Uh, seven, <laughs> six, four. <laughs> seven, six, four. And the floors are only up to six. So you know what Imran's trying to do to me? <laughs> This is a tough shot here okay, for Jason. So a little bit of tactical stuff going on. It's going to kiss the six and leave a shot. I think uh -oh. it is. And that is had bad news. Had to definitely miss the six ball there. That is uh, one of Jason's well, you could call it a flaw. His safety game isn't great. He's a great uh, run-out player, very fluent. I think he could uh, just improve on his safety play. Yeah, you think that's a weak link in Jason's game? Yeah, I mean, um, it can be improved, put it that way. Yeah. Is, is that something he realises himself? Do you, have you spoke with him about it? or? No, I haven't uh, spoke with him about it or anything. You know, you, you don't like to say to players, "Oh, your safety game's uh, not good." Yeah, you know? yeah. No, just, I, ju I just, just thought because that, yeah. you know your friend sort of thing that yeah, maybe just yeah. in passing over a glass no, of lemonade. No, we, we, we've never never mentioned it, but I think uh, it could be improved. I think he knows it as well. And it's now looking good for Mieszko. But on the other side of the spectrum, his uh, his run-out game is fantastic. Maybe one of the best in the world right now. There we have Miesko. There we have our Vietnamese friends. Came over the national team. I think five players and uh, three staff come over. But I think... Uh, like you said, the format, the braking system and things like that, I think that really did... Um, you find them out, yeah. Yeah, you know, so it's all new to them. But uh, they were happy. They liked the event. They thought it was well organized. And uh, Did they say they were going to come again? Yep, they're going to try it. Okay. They certainly are, yeah. Because um, they don't have so many tournaments in Vietnam. Not right. as the quality, okay. put it that way. For okay you know, for the amount of players you have and the top players that you have at the event. So that's what they were really impressed with. I think he's, he'll go for this. And... Uh, nice shot. Oh, Negotiate the gaps there. That's a good shot there. That's a good shot. Yeah. But you see... Good position uh, on good shot. The way he sort of played that, it's... It's it's quick, it's like... Uh, don't get me wrong, I don't mean he doesn't care, but now he's behind, he thinks, okay, that's, let's just play. Yeah. You know, yeah. And yeah. bang, yeah. does it. And uh -huh. that's... That's the sort of body movement that I see from Jason there. And while he was in front, he was trying to be conservative. And, you know, right. really yeah. sort of yeah. be careful. He's behind now, he sees he's blown a few opportunities, he's saying, OK, let's just play. And now, different, different game again. So there's a question already, Imran, how can they get in touch with you about coaching? Um, well, I'm on Facebook, so you can always send me a private message on Facebook. There you go, two Cs. Needs a good break, needs a good spread. 
above all. Keep the cue ball on the table. Good break again. It Cue is a good break. Central. I like his break, yeah. Very impressive. Doesn't overhit them, just hits them at a nice pace and controls the cue ball. Okay, so four to five is probably the shot which can seal the rack here. Yep. I don't know about that. Hmm. Very uh, unusual uh, positional it, shot. It makes it harder now. He's going to try and play the four into the center and go two rails and come just in between the five and the middle pocket. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's going to miss the five. Is he going to hit the five? Yep. Just oh. like I thought. Yeah, it was perfect to hit the five. So, uh... Again, a little spanner been thrown into the works. And the machine has stopped. All that just through the mistake from the three to the four. Yeah, see, the, the, the table looked a very, very, you know, a decent looking table, but... As soon as you get out of position on one ball, it messes the whole uh, run out. It just, you know, it gets harder from one shot to the other. So this this game is all about positioning. Anybody can pop the balls. It's about connecting your dots, staying in line from one ball to the next ball. And if you do get out of position, you've got to correct it as quickly as possible. Yeah, and you've got to come up with plan B straight away, whether it's a safety shot or a, a different move. Wow, oh, wow. <laughs> he is a kangaroo, isn't he, Dave? <laughs> yeah. yeah, just saying, a good cue ball. Frozen to the top rail. Unlucky with that shot there. Yeah, I mean, to pop the six is not that much of a problem. To get position is a different story. Got to be careful, don't he end could, up behind the nine. He could slow roll it, but that was the problem. He tried to slow roll it and... So, uh... Fortunacy got let off there by his error and should uh, should have been punished. Should, should have been, been trailing. And should go on to the hill now. What a difference that shot there from Jason made. Jason would have been on the hill and breaking. Instead he finds Mieszka on the hill but Jason breaking. So he needs this to get to hill hill. Jason needs a good break here. And he's got a good break. Very nice. Nice easy shot on the two. Pretty open table. Just needs to get on, on the three ball and he should be out. shot just can go two rails in between the six and the nine and get position on the four So, oh, looks like it's going to be a thriller in Manila. So back 
back again. Here we are, Jason Shaw. Gets to the hill. 8-8. Eight, eight. Now, if you can re replicate uh, one of his last breaks, this should be over. Wow. Oh, unlucky. That is unlucky. He's got a shot on the two. It's a very thin one. I'm not sure if he'll go for this. I think there's got to be a safety there somewhere. It's a bit risky to go for that. Where do you hide? What do you do? Um, he could opt for spread. the... Separate the two balls, side rail to side rail. And use the six and nine as cover. Or there are a couple of more other technical safeties. I think he's going to go side rail, side rail. Yeah, just like that. And needs to get behind the six. I don't think he's got enough. Oh, I don't think he's got enough. No, he's, he's got got just enough. left the edge there for the two ball. Advantage to Jason. Uh, J Jason should put him in trouble here. A little bit careless. Had a big margin for error there, you know, behind the six and nine. Jason taking his time, which he rightly should do. Important rack. See a lot of the players there. Everyone likes around. to watch a hill hill match. Oh yeah. See on our GB9 tour, when it's a hill hill match, the the computer programs actually says. Table 13 is hill hill, so everybody crowds <laughs> around the table. It's okay. pretty, pretty pretty good uh, program we got right. on our old laptops. thinking about this one. Yeah, he's weigh weighing up different uh, choices he's got here. He could thin clip it and come back behind the six and nine, but it's a bit of a touchy shot and you can uh, overdo it or underdo it. So he's uh, looking at a different option. I think shot you just mentioned there, I, uh, I'd rather underdo it than overdo it. That yeah, sort of shot yeah, there yeah. that you have there. But knowing this guy, <laughs> he might even go for the bank. He's very well, attacking. At this stage. He's, he's <laughs> Sometimes you've got to take the bull by the horns, as they say. Yeah. Make something happen. Exactly. So what's it going to be, Jason? We shall now find out. No. See, I don't think so. That's where, like I said, Dave, his safety game yeah. could be A improved. Bit, yeah, yeah. So, a good chance here for Fortunski to get to his first final, but it's not over until the fat lady sings, as we say in England. Yeah, five balls here to do it. <laughs> okay, so he needs an angle on the six ball to get to the seven, and it should be over.
so he's looking to top this with some FM English. Playing a 7 in the same pocket is slightly thin on this 7, but it shouldn't pose a problem. Draw it back two rails. Nicely done. Just doesn't want to be straight on this 8 and looks to have the perfect position. That's looking good to me. So, ladies and gentlemen, coming up is the second semi final Nikos Ekomanopoulos and Ralph Suke. I'm going to let Imran have the final word and I'll be with you again shortly. So, very good match. Well done to Miesko Fortunski. Wins against Jason Shaw 9 8. I think he played a bit better in the match than Jason. Jason made some. Uh, bad safety errors and uh, he broke better than Jason as well. So it was a pleasure ladies and gentlemen. I shall maybe do some commentary again another time. Until then, see you later.